Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. In day 10, we will be working with binary numbers. Our task today is to convert a base 10 integer n to binary, then find and print the base 10 integer denoting the maximum number of consecutive ones in n's binary representation. Our input is a single integer n between 1 and 100,000, and our output will be a base 10 integer denoting the maximum number of consecutive ones in the binary representation of n. For example, if we have the sample input of 5, we will convert it to 101 in binary. The maximum number of consecutive ones in that is 1, so we output 1. If we have the input of 13, we will convert it to 1101. The maximum number of consecutive ones in that is 2, so we output 2. Converting a number to binary can be done by finding a number's remainder when divided by 2, or n mod 2, then dividing the integer by 2 and rounding down. This strips away the remainder when divided by 2, then allows you to compute whether the number has a remainder when divided by a higher power of 2. For example, with 5, we would see that 5 mod 2 is 1 so we would keep the 1 as the lowest power of 2 in our binary conversion. Then 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 and rounded down is 2. There's no remainder when 2 is divided by 2 here, so we have 0, 1 as our binary representation so far. Then we divide 2 by 2 and get 1. The remainder is 1, so our binary number is 1, 0, 1. Then we continue dividing 1 by 2 and get 0.5. At this point, it rounds down to zero, so we know we are done converting it to binary. However, instead of keeping track of the exact binary representation to solve this problem, all we need to do is to find the maximum number of consecutive ones. For that, we will keep a counter of the current number of consecutive ones and a counter of the maximum number of consecutive ones we've seen so far. Every time we see that the remainder is one, we will increment the current running count of consecutive ones. If the current running count of consecutive ones is greater than the maximum number of consecutive ones we've seen so far, we will set that to the maximum number of consecutive ones. If we get a remainder of zero, our chain of consecutive ones has been broken, so we will reset that value to zero. At the end, when we have divided n as much as we can and fully converted it to a binary number, we will print our maximum number of consecutive ones. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. HackerRank has already written some code for us to handle the input. The first thing we should do is to initialize our consecutive ones and maximum consecutive ones variables. Then, while we have not finished converting n to binary, n greater than 0, we will get the remainder of n mod 2. Here we're using the percent as the modulo operator. If the remainder is equal to 1, we will increment our current consecutive ones counter. And if the current consecutive ones is greater than max consecutive ones, we will set max consecutive ones to that value. If, however, the remainder is zero, the else condition, we will set the current consecutive ones to zero. Finally, we will use integer division to divide n by 2 and reset it. Then we will repeat the while loop. When n is equal to 0, we will exit the while loop and print our maximum number of consecutive ones.
Let's test our solution. Cool. So for five, we got one, which we expected. And for six, we got two. So the binary representation of six is one, one, zero. And there are two consecutive ones in there. So we got two. Now let's submit it. Great, we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed yesterday's video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you tomorrow.